in this lesson, we'll build a bracket that will hold our solar panels onto our kind of cylindrical base that we built. So we've got the base here. Let's go into our outliner, and you can see I just named it base. Um, we can also kind of clean it up. We can delete the history of it. And for the scale, let's go ahead and show our uh, panels. So actually, it's not too bad. Let me kind of move these over a little bit. We may need to, to modify the scale a bit, but now we want to create something that will connect kind of these three together and then also be able to stick them right onto the base. So to do this, I want to create kind of a half circle shape. And we can do this by using a portion of a primitive. So we're going to go to Create Polygon Primitives, and let's get a polygon pipe. So the pipe will be sort of a cylinder, I'll kind of move it up, a cylinder with a hole in it. So pretty much what it says, a pipe. So what I want to do, though, is I want to go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees in the X direction. Let's take our creation parameters. Let's increase the radius a bit. I'm going to move it up, and I'm just really going to concentrate on the bottom half of this pipe and just looking at this and seeing where it actually is connecting up with our with our pieces here. And so let's add a little bit of thickness to it, so maybe something like that. We can also change the divisions. So I'm going to change it to maybe to 22 because that gives me a polygon facing straight down. And let's also change the height a little bit so it's a little bit more kind of square shaped. And let's increase our radius just a little bit so it hits those pieces right in the middle. Okay, so kind of get our overall shapes of our bracket here done. And then what we can do is get rid of the polygons that we don't need. So let me kind of move this down a little bit. And we're not going to need these, so I'll click, double click all the way around. We won't need these. Anything above on the top of the panel we won't need. Now because this is into two parts, all we have to do now is double click on this section. We can go ahead and delete it. Now there's a couple of pieces that are sticking up. You can go ahead and hit 3 to smooth it. You can see they're still sort of sticking up. So all we have to do is kind of take these and move them down into the base object here. There's plenty of room for them to go down. And we'll do the same thing over here. All right. So what we can do now is start to add a little bit of uh, detail to this. So I want to have the, the base be able to connect down into this cylinder. So we'll go ahead and take this polygon face and let's kind of scale this out a little bit. Let's do an extrude. And let's do just a small offset here. Repeat that. We'll kind of pull this down a little bit and then pull this all the way down just to add a little bit of uh, interest there. Kind of pull this down and then we can delete that face. And that was just that bottom face that was selected. We can go ahead and delete that because this is going to extend into our base. We can smooth it to see what it looks like currently. I want to add a little bit more detail in here. So let me go ahead and select these polygons. Let's just do an extrude. We'll kind of just extrude these off of the surface. And then I want to kind of add a little bit more edge hardness here. And so to do that, we can use our insert edge loop tool. Remember to add those edges. Kind of come in and that'll tighten up the edges in one direction. So you can see that's what that sort of gives us. If you want these to be more square shaped, you can add edge loops along each one of these loops here. We can also add a little bit more detail by kind of coming in and let's select maybe these three polygons. Come in and just to kind of extrude this off of the surface a little bit. And you can kind of experiment and see what that looks like to just add a little bit more of uh, interesting detail to this. Maybe we want the inside of this 
to be smooth, but maybe the outside we want to be have a little bit of a harder edge. So we can come in here and just on the outside, use our insert edge loop tool. And same thing over here. And then again, smooth it. And that way you get this sort of harder edge on the outside, but then it's combined with kind of a smoother edge in the middle. Or you can see that. All right, now it's attached these two. So um, what we can do, if we wanna go ahead and attach this third one, we can just come up from this middle part, go ahead and let's extrude, and we'll do just a little bit of an offset here. Repeat that, add some thickness. As we bring this up, we can also increase the number of divisions. So increase those divisions to two. Right now we've got that last polygon selected, so we can go ahead and delete it. And then if we want to add a little bit of shape to this center piece, we can go ahead and use those divisions that we just added to add a, a bit more shape to it. Okay, and we get something like that. You can add a little bit more detail to it, but the main thing is that um, we have that built. Let's go ahead and take our center piece and we can kind of move it, and we just want it to fit sort of inside this little bit here. So maybe something like that. So it can kind of rotate around. And now we also have an area for our legs to come out because we have this base. And if it's too tall, we can go ahead and select those on the bottom, kind of move it up, and we can modify our our geometry however we want. Okay, so just by using a, a section of a primitive and just thinking about the shape that we want to create, we're able to very quickly build out this and then we can build out you know pieces from that there, but it just gives us a nice way to get our an already existing sort of curve here. Okay, and you can see here that this is sort of smooth. Where this is being smoothed down, it looks a little bit different than this one. And so you know, if you take a look in here, we can go ahead and maybe get rid of that polygon that came from the extrude, and we can do the same thing here. And what that is, is when we extruded out these side pieces, it added that extra polygon up there. So we can go ahead and delete that. Let's take this and delete our history. And we'll freeze our transformations. Okay. And then if we want to group this so that it'll rotate, uh, we'll just call this something like bracket. And then we have our large panel group. We can go ahead and select both of these. And we can just call this something like panel rotate. And we want to make sure that we place the pivot. If we can see it here. We want to place the pivot in the middle, so we can go ahead and move our pivot point. So now when we rotate this, it'll sort of rotate around. All right. So now that we've got this, the next thing that we need to do is begin to build the legs and the feet. So let's go ahead and do that in the next lesson.